What do you expect out of the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight, as a whole, as a group? Okay. What I expect out of this team tonight, so I know I keep going back to this point, but what I expect out of the team tonight, what I expect out of the team tomorrow night, what do I expect out of the team their next game, the game after that, until game 82? I want to see the entire team give a crap. I want to see – I don't want to see these stupid defensive errors. I, I, I don't want to see unnecessary pinches. At the end of the day, I understand this team is offense first. I love it. I love I love seeing six goals a game. I love seeing whatever. But unnecessarily pinching, and I'm going to quote him again, it's all about the details. About it's details. all about the details. He's not wrong. This <laughs> team doesn't focus. And, and, I, and I thought – you know, at first when he kept put through, sho- not not shoving it down my throat, but throwing it in my in the face, was it, it, it is man the, okay details yeah that's fine, but you watch you sit there and watch the team play and you see times where okay uh, unnecessary here unnecessary there unnecessary here, well no wonder if things aren't going your way you you're not playing like you're supposed to it it, it it doesn't make sense so this this team right now needs to focus on the details play listen you know who's having a great freaking season Neil since Andrew. Sheldon no si- <laughs> yes but he's having a great season too but since Sheldon Keith has been, has got Brian in Austin Matthews is having a stellar season. And I feel like not like obviously everyone still is still talking about Austin Matthews. You know, he's scoring almost he's almost at 40 goals. But his two-way game has very much improved. He's and, trying. And he's trying. And I think that for some reason he's trying, but no one's no one's saying, oh. You know, he's trying. That must mean something. You know, you look at other teams. You look at Ovechkin. When Ovechkin is just going out there and just crushing people, you don't see Ovechkin crush people for fun. But when you go, when he goes out there and he crushes people and he goes and gets the puck and he gets in there, that wakes the team up. For some reason, that's not happening on this team. And I said it last episode. You can't play five minutes. Those five minutes that they don't play properly can cost them a game, can cost them a series in the playoffs. Which it has. Which it's it cost has. And it's cost it them has, a series. It has them. La- it, it got them last year. It got them the year before. It got them in 2013, and half of these players weren't even there. None of them. None of them were here. Gardner and Gardner and Kadri were the last two players here in 2013. Now, no one. That's it. That's it. What do you expect from Montreal? Um, the same thing that I always do and that I know I'm going to get is I want 60 minutes. I want effort. I want them to use their speed. But one thing I expect them to be better at is they need to tighten up defensively. They have a really, they're kind of like the Leafs in that regard. That sometimes like the defensive collapses they can have are a real big problem. Uh, especially with Shea Weber being out, they called up. Laval captain Xavier Huelat, who's had a really good season in the AHL, but again, how much does that really matter? It's going to be down to Jeff Petrie to take up arms there and, you know, turn into the. He's always better when Weber's not healthy, which is the weirdest thing. So it's going to be up to those young guys. And God, I cannot hope. Apparently, Druin has the green light. But it's up to him if he's going to play tomorrow. Remember, he was only supposed to be up eight to ten weeks. 
That was in the middle of November. We're now in February. So, uh, I mean, uh, I think if Jonathan Druin comes back tomorrow, it's going to give a real big boost to that team and the arena because, of course, the game is in Montreal. And that's a very big factor is, of course, Leafs fans love to travel there. And I'm a bit biased here because, of course, I'm going to the game, and I really do hope that the lads put on a good performance. But I know Carey Price has been better, so you can expect him to be it. But the big thing is, is you know, capitalize on the Leafs' mistakes if they make them because when the Leafs are on, they're a scary f***ing team. And I don't know. I just I want my boys to play a full 60 minutes and learn how to play the last minute of a period, really, because they're still allowing goals in the last minute. They did that. Against the Devils, I think, but I think that's I think we're good. Beside that, that's what I expect out of my team, and I expect two points in regulation, and Jake okay. Evans to get a hat trick, or a Ryan Palin. Sure. <laughs> this is going to be a fun episode on Wednesday. Uh, it's not. It's not. Well, don't you know, forget last time this happened. The Habs won, and you just ignored it. <laughs> you what were just you like, mean no. I ignored it? You just ignored it even happened. So let me tell you, if the Habs lose this game, I'm going to pretend it never happened. Okay. That's fine. But anyway. I'm still going to talk about it. Well, and I'll do the same if we win. Okay. When we win. If. Win. It's going to be a big win. Massive win. Habs oh, are going to win. Anyway. Uh, yeah, sure.